Hello, today is June the 2nd and it's been a while since I've made a video and the Lord's impressed it on my heart uh, to make one. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But I want to pray first before I continue on. Dear God, I give thanks to you, Lord, and praise in your name. And I pray, Father God, that uh, you give me the words to speak and you guide me through the Holy Spirit and and just um, be with me through this time here. And I pray for the people who view this message, Lord. I pray that they receive it and it's touched people's hearts and that it's planted seeds and bring people to you, Lord. So I, I give thanks to you and all glory in Jesus' name. Amen. So I, I want to talk about heaven the new heaven and the new earth. But I want to read a scripture, 2 Peter um, chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. So that's talking about, it says the earth, so I'm taking it as the whole earth, like, burns up. So there's going to be some judgments. When you read the judgments in um, Revelation, starting at chapter 6, chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 9, you have the, the trumpet judgments. Uh, the seal judgments, the, and then you continue on after nine judgments up until you know, just all through a revelation, it just speaks of destruction, death, and and uh, judgment, and fire. <laughs> but in Revelation chapter 21, it says. In verse 1, Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also there was no more sea. And then Second Peter speaks about, you know, the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat, both the earth and the works are, that are in it. And then you read, the Revelation 21 verse 1 it says the first earth passes away and the first heaven is no more as well um, but remember the kingdom comes you know from heaven it descends John says in verse 2 then I John saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God prepared as a bride adorned for her husband and I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And this is, this is so cool. I wish it was like right now, but, you know, it will be there eventually. <clears throat> and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, no sorrow, nor crying there shall be no pain for the former things have passed away for the former things have passed away so that too kind of tells me that everything that we know now is it's gone it's passed away it's going to be all new everything is going to be new because in verse 5 he says this then he who sat on the sat on the throne said behold I make all things new so all things new and that that kind of comes to mind about people who are not saved and people who reject God all the way to the the end uh, and their fate is into the lake of fire which speaks about in the book of Revelation that they'll be tossed into the lake of fire because their name wasn't found in the book, the book of life. Um, 
so he's saying all things are going to be new. So all those believer or unbelievers that have heard the message of Jesus Christ, but ah, they don't believe in it. It's a fairy tale. Um, every name in the book that they throw out there to discredit uh, the validity and the truth of God and his existence in Jesus Christ. The, you know, the death on the cross, it's, it's, you know, rejected by many. Remember, Jesus said, wide is the gate that leads to destruction and narrow is the path that leads to life and very few find it. So when we, when we think about our loved ones and, and friends and family that they don't want anything to do with the Lord and then boom, the believers in Christ, they get taken to heaven, we're gone. And then they'll realize and, and remember, oh my goodness, that person, I remember they were talking to me about Jesus coming, about Jesus, but I like shunned them off, I scoffed at them. Um, oh my gosh, they were right and we were wrong, but they still reject the Lord and their fate is the lake of fire. And those that take the mark mark of the beast during the time of the antichrist and during the tribulation period matthew 24 um he speaks about it jesus speaks about it in revelation chapter 13 speaks about the antichrist as well and his mark right hand forehead um you know so it's it's going to be a terrible time so i think when he says uh, you know this is my my thinking when he makes all things new and to me that would be like like erasing what we know down here on earth and it's going to be new including the, the the people who we we know here like god knows who is going to be taken and, and go to heaven and god knows who's going to be rejected and people may you know know some people that reject god and they're going to be you know their judgment their fate is the, um death lake of fire you know so that gives me you know kind of comfort to know that in heaven i'm not going to remember all that because in heaven he says he will wipe away every tear from their eyes that's like you know like uh comfort if i'm in heaven and realizing oh my gosh so and so is left behind oh my gosh so and so is going to like and fire how is that comforting and joyful in heaven? So I, I'm almost certain that's what he's telling us here, that everything's going to be renewed, reprogrammed or something, because we do get our restored bodies when we get go up to heaven, whether it be the rapture or, or, or yeah, because even in the rapture, the dead, like if you die on earth, you know, when it comes that time for the rapture, the dead in Christ will rise first, and then those who are alive that didn't see death will be taken and, and meet the dead, the ones that raised, meet them in the clouds, and then, boom, we meet Jesus, meet the Lord in the air, because Jesus descends down. You could read about that, First Thessalonians chapter 4, 12 through 18, First Corinthians 15, 51 and 52, or I think it starts at 50, um, but so we see that people who we know there's going to be some left behind i'm just thankful for god's word to give us that comfort he'll wipe away every tear from their eyes you know so heaven is going to be a a wonderful place and in the book of revelation gives some wonderful descriptions of heaven yeah, um, the foundations and the gates and, and the streets are paved with gold and the angels and you know it's just going to be fantastic and when you read the book of revelations there's a blessing to those who read it in the beginning in the end it's, it talks about a blessing you know uh, revelation one i'm going to start just at verse one and i'll read to verse three the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants, things which must shortly take place, and he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John. Verse 2, who bore witness to the word of God, 
and to the testimony of Jesus Christ to all things that he saw. Verse 3 is, is cool. Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it, for the time is near. So if it's saying that and the time is near, and he wrote that when John wrote this, what, um, 50, 50 AD? Let's see. 70 to 95 AD. That's what this is. That's when this is recorded. Um, the time is near then. Imagine now. Oh my gosh. It's like even near. Like right there at the door. Because we see everything that Jesus spoke about. Um, on, the Mount, on Mount of Olives. About the end of the age. And he, he gives a description. Matthew 24 and Luke 21. Earthquakes. Famines. Pestilences. Uh, wars. Rumors of wars. Nations, you know, perplexity and uh, the waves and the sea is roaring. And like, if you look around, if you pay attention um, to what's happening in nature with the um, earthquakes and the floodings and even the volcanoes, Jesus spoke on that. And in Luke 21, he even says, People, you know, it's like fearful sights the fearful sights what we see that's fearful imagine then during the tribulation period and the judgments that's even that's going to be even more fearful more death there's death is spoken about you know in the judgments you know uh, it's just going to be horrible time that's why now is the time of salvation and accept jesus christ as your lord and savior invite him into your heart ask him to forgive your sins um He's there just waiting for you to, to call out to him, those who, do, who aren't believers. The Lord's cool, you know. Being a follower of Christ is cool, you know. And uh, he, he, he loves you and he, he helps you in life and he gives you, you know, gifts and, and like spiritual gifts. Not like it's going to wrap a present. Here you go, <laughs> a gift, unwrap. No, it's like spiritual um, supernatural gifts. You know, you could read about spiritual gifts in, in the book of First Corinthians, chapter twelve through fourteen, and you can read about um, during the Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came down and and they started speaking in, in tongues and other tongues. That's a part of the. Uh, that's one of the spiritual gifts. Chapter two of Acts. You could read about it, and um, so God is cool, and He tells us. In this book, in his word, the beginning to the end. And he gives us a little sneak insight of heaven through the words that are recorded in, in the book of Revelation. So I highly encourage those to read the book of Revelation. And when you read the book of Re Revelation also, uh, especially, um, what is it, chapter 13. Read it alongside with the book of Daniel. Because in chapter 13 of Revelation, it speaks about the Antichrist. And when you read in the book of Daniel, I believe it's chapter 7 and 9, I think 9 through 20, 9, 27, excuse me, um, speaks about the Antichrist, the abomination that causes desolation during the time of tribulation. That starts the midpoint of Great, great Tribulation. Um, so, so read that alongside with Revelation 13. It's 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 pretty cool because prophet um, Daniel pinned it you know and then and then we get it elsewhere in the Bible so anyhow uh, I've been rambling on now for about 14 minutes my timer little a little timer there says so but anyhow I hope you find encouragement um, in this little short uh, reading and, and little study in Revelation and, and about heaven so keep looking up to the kingdom of God and, and keep your eyes focused on Jesus Christ. So until next time, Maranatha, Jesus is coming.